Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. The new year is here and just a reminder that you can purchase your Suffolk County Beach Permit. Remember that you will need a series of items depending on which permit you wish to purchase. Keep in mind this year's permit will be sold online again only. That means no in-person sales. For a list of items and instructions on getting your permit, click on the card in the top right or the link in the video's description. Another reminder that the phone interview of Cliff Kaiser's almost New York State record Blackfish is now live on YouTube. Click on the card in the top right for the video or look in this video's description on YouTube. The Hudson River Year of the Young survey results have been released. These numbers provide an estimate of annual recruitment of striped bass in the Hudson River. Click on the card in the top right for the article or look in this video's description on YouTube for the link. Last week I showed you how to tie the dropper loop. This week I will show you how to tie the polymer knot. If you're an angler that likes to use terminal tackle like barrel swivels, the polymer knot is something that you should know how to tie. I'm going to show you guys how to tie it here today. What I like to do is first I'll start with a barrel swivel. You may have your rig or your, your leader at the end of this. So I'll take my barrel swivel and I'll take my braided line right here and what I'll do is I'm going to double my braided line over like that. That's the first step. Then I'm going to take the end right here and I'm going to put it through the barrel swivel just like so. Now I'm going to take these two ends and I'm going to tie an overhand knot. You don't want to pull it too tight or you're going to have a hard time cinching it down. At this point, this is the most important part, you want to open up this loop and everything that's attached to your leader, your hooks, your, your rig, whatever it is, take that and pull it through this loop. Now, at this point, all that's left to do is cinch down your braid. Once that's done, trim away your tag end and you have a solid connection. New Jersey's managing editor Jim Hutchinson also wrote up a piece on striped bass poaching in Raritan Bay. This has been a growing problem and seems to be only getting worse. For the full story, click on the card in the top right or hit the link in the video's description below. Now that the winter has its grip on the region and you still want to get out and fish, you can hit the freshwater scene. Let's check in with Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Paul. Hello, Matt. Well, I'm off Mondays and Tuesdays. Those are my days I close the shop. And, you know, guess what? It was 25 degrees yesterday, and I woke up to 12 degrees today. I didn't go fishing. So what I do, I decided to come down, tie some flies. But... The guys that went out fishing this week, they did actually pretty good. Two younger boys, two young college students stopped in the shop. They, they've been, they actually go to school in Wisconsin, and uh, they fished, uh, which I want to go fish. It's called the Driftless Area. But they were excited to fish the Spring Creeks here on Long Island, and they really haven't done a lot of it. So I set them up with some hooks, so, you know, some flies, uh, rigged, helped them rigged up, and off they went. And I, they reported back, they had a terrific day. They caught some really, really nice fish. They were thrilled. Another, another couple of uh, father-in-law and, and a son-in-law, they actually came in and they said, you know what, we love the Conoquat, but we want to try something different. So uh, tell us about the Croton system. So I sent them up there and they run around. Now, they didn't go where I told them to go, but that's okay because there's so much water up there. And because New York State waters, most of the trout streams are open 12 months out of the year now. So they got up there. And you know what? On streamers, they had some nice brown trout. They were they were thrilled. They had a great time. Um, they stopped it and said they can't wait to get back. And we actually went over the maps a little bit. And they go, well, okay, maybe we got to try this area. So... There is uh, the fishing to be done. You just got to get out there. Unfortunately, uh, on a day like this, you're going to cast your line. It's going to freeze in midair. But hopefully, it's supposed to warm up, then get cold again by next week. So, 
Who knows? I might be time flies for a while. So until next week, Matt, tie lines. Thanks, Paul. He'll be back later in the broadcast to show you how to tie a great fly for fishing the region's rivers and streams. We have an update on one of the big shows in the area. The Suffren show has been canceled this year and there is no need to tell you why, but there is another show that you can attend and it's the MSA Surf Fishing Show. The event will feature 50 surf fishing tackle manufacturers, tackle shops, seminars by top local surf casters, and much more. The event is taking place Saturday, February 19th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Radisson Hotel and Convention Center at 110 Vanderbilt Motor Parkway in Hopak. From Northport, we have Mark McGowan from Cal Harbor Bait and Tackle. You can chase white perch. You can get down and do some freshwater trout fishing. You might want to pick your days because Long Island's really limited on where um, the most uh, successful spots are to go fly fishing or for those uh trout so you got to pick your days really carefully sometimes when it's really super lousy day might be the day for you to go because other folks are not there uh shop news thank you so much we are getting a new shipment of hats in the most popular colors and patches along with uh new sweatshirts in several different colors they'll be online again in about a couple of weeks a lot of back orders as everybody knows but uh they're coming in. Thank you for the support. It's so cool to go around Long Island um, in different states even and see uh, Cal Harbor stuff. Uh, people are wearing hats. They're wearing shirts, sweatshirts. Uh, it's so cool. A, a few times I'm like sitting at the traffic light and I see someone's got a bumper sticker. Wow. So awesome. Thank you so much. And um, I'm going to keep trying to put out some of these uh, do-it-yourself videos. You know, we're Long Island's probably one of the only, uh, unless please correct me, rod components dealers. I mean, we sell a limited uh, assortment of blanks, mostly from ODM, Lamy Glass, uh, Rod Geeks, and, um, and Century. But we sell an awful lot of guides, handle kits, cork, EVA, different styles of shrink in different textures for gripping. And this video I have here is like something that we do quite often. It's a custom grip uh, used quite often by surf casters, um, less friction on the waders, fantastic grip when wet. I hope you enjoy the video. It's something that uh, is really great to see. And then you can always go to our YouTube page and uh, check out other videos because we're always launching them and you'll see them on Facebook and then they're followed by YouTube. So this one you could just watch over and over again. I hope you learned something. If you want to see me in person, the uh, next day is going to be February 19th. It's going to be the MSA show. It's going to be in Hop Hog at the Radisson. I'll be speaking, giving a seminar. There'll be other talented guys there giving a seminar. So it's going to be a lot to learn. I'm, I'm a comp set down to porpoise channel guy. That's where I fish. So I'm going to be speaking about that subject. If you kind of want to demystify the North Shore, you have questions, I'm really easy to talk to. So uh, it's probably going to be, who knows, a half hour, hour until they kick us out. And uh, there'll be plenty to talk with. And um, I'll be over there. So even if you have your rod questions, hey, bring in a, bring in your rods. I, I don't care. The more the merrier, right? Uh, bring in your questions. I'm there to answer. And it's going to be 3 to 9. Um, no, I'm sorry. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And, uh, you know, go show your support. It's 20 bucks for a yearly membership. MSA, Montauk Surf Casters Association, does an awful lot for people for beach access rights and such. And uh, they've been a figure of keeping a lot of these trails open that a lot of people take for granted and don't realize. So go in there, throw in your 20 bucks, buy a shirt or a sweatshirt from MSA, show the colors. It's a great organization. And you can always check them out on Facebook as well. Until next week. I bid you peace and tight lines. Matt, this is a great fly here for Long Island. It, it, it fills every checklist that I have. Simple to tie. I can tell you a lot of them. They catch fish, and I don't get upset when I lose them. And it's not expensive to bake. So, there's four ingredients to this fly. It's, called, it's just called uh, the Marabou Nymph. Basically, you're going to use... Jig hooks, this is a size 12s, you can make up 12s all the way down to 18s. Slotted beads, tungsten beads to get it down. A little bit of wire, and marabou.
and that's the whole fly. I, it's, I can't believe how easy it is. And it catches fish. Look how easy it is. I tie, you could tie up a dozen in five minutes. I mean, it really is fast. So, let's get to the vise, and I'll show you how to do it. Well, as you can see, it's a very simple fly. There's only really four ingredients in this fly. You have the hook, the bead, uh, marabou, and a wire. It's a very simple fly. You could, you could make this as complicated as you want, but this is a real easy fly, and it catches fish. Okay, so first, I'm going to put my thread on the hook. Then I'm going to tie my wire in. I'm going to go all the way to the back. I'm going to leave the rest like that. Now, I wet, as you can see, my marabou, I wet it. It makes it a little bit easier to handle. And I'm going to measure it. I want roughly the length. I want it roughly the length of the, the uh, shank of the hook. I'm going to tie it in. Like that. And I'm going to bring my fly up and I'm going to twist it. And I'm going to bring my thread forward. I'm going to twist it, twist it, twist it. And I'm going to start palmering my marabou forward. All the way up to the bead. Really lock it in. I'm going to counter wrap my wire all the way back, right up to the thread, hold it up, hold a couple times in front, go a couple of times in the back, and cut it off and build a nice head. And if you have too many wayward fibers, just pull them out. And I'm going to do my whip finish. And cut my thread. Now, I'm going to take my little toothbrush and rough it up a little bit. Now it looks buggy, and that's what you want. And if there's a little bit sticking up too much, you trim it. But that's it. It is a very simple fly. Very simple fly, easy to uh, tie, and uh, it really just uh, it catches fish. And if you lose it on the bottom, it's not a big investment in time. So until next week, tie lines, everybody.
Please support our correspondents by visiting their websites and social media pages. If you like what you've been seeing here on our YouTube channel, please like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified when we post a new video on YouTube. And please subscribe to the Fisherman Magazine for the most up-to-date fishing content in the Northeast. We'll see you right here next week at thefisherman.com.